right, we're gonna we're gonna delete these windows for right now and see what happens, <laughs> just for fun. Or you know what? I should just let's just do this facade. Um, I think what's happened there is these windows. If you look at this wall and window situation here, let me just show you guys real quick. Um, I've got this wall attaching to this roof. This wall is attaching the base to this roof, and so those windows may actually be hosted to something weird, some some weird thing with the with the walls and windows there. But at the end of the day, um, actually, you know, that's at the end of the day. If I let me see if I can get these guys in there. I'm super curious now. If I selected this wall and the windows, oh, you're gonna do it to me. Let's do this wall, this wall, this wall, this wall. Let's see if that's enough to get us there. No facade. We did it. Okay, so I'm actually kind of glad that happened because that is literally what happens every time you use this. <laughs> Not just say every time. Um, it's it, in very specific occasions where you're dealing with with a lot of different elements. And so what you end up doing is you end up um, you end up bringing things into an option that maybe you don't need or want to, like, for example, that dormer, right? But the truth is it's okay because you're not getting rid of those items. Um, all you're doing is moving them into multiple options. And then once you finish your design, and I'll show you how to do it, you can actually just accept it into the, the main model and call it a day. Um, so, so I know a lot of people who've probably tried design options. You've done exactly what I just did there. And the truth is really the solution is to just find all the elements like I just did there, right? I, I've, watching me troubleshoot that should help you next time you need to troubleshoot it, right?